we aren't painting today. I'm going to show you something maybe kind of fun that I did. Now, listen, is it 100% yet? No, but it's an idea I'm evolving. So I really love the look of like, I have so many blooms that are like not perfect that I don't want to go to waste. And I really love the look of putting like hard, crackly, marbly things on top and like the juxtaposition between like the beautiful sparkly feminine bloom that's like breaking through. Oh, do you see the guy working in the background? We're getting a pool. Just, and of course he has to wear red. Here, I'll stand here so you don't see him. Um, what was I saying? So, um, yes, the like hard, marbly, cracked stuff over top the beautiful sparkly shiny. So now there's many different ways you can do this. You can use plaster, you can use blah, blah, blah. However, because I'm extra, I found marble a mix. Now this is from Canada, from Five Star Finishes um, in Vancouver. This is called Scintilla in Tonaco. Kaolin Marble Powder with Marble Sand. It's eco-friendly, zero box, smooth to light texture, okay? So I got a big bucket and it's, it's fine. It's like powder with pigment, kind of, okay? I don't want to breathe it, hold on. So what you do is you mix it with water up to 40% and you get something smooth. So for me, obviously, you know, if you know me, like I didn't watch any videos, I didn't like do any research as usual, and I just kind of dove right in. So it, it, it was a bit of a learning curve. So my first, I have a few suggestions about it, and I can't wait till you see the finished result. As I said, it's cool, it's like not 100% what I was going for yet, but maybe. So first version, by the way, you can buy colors and things to mix in, which I did on, on this guy, which I don't love, but you can see here I made like a gray, um, a purple, this is the white. So the suggestions that I have so far that I learned from my first piece, if you do it, and I'm sure with anything, you wanna do like thin layers because if you lay all too thick, it'll just crack, so you do thin layers. Now something really cool about this, if you do the thin layers, a couple layers, and wait 12 hours and take the back of your palette knife or something, you can, well, it's not totally cured, you can like smooth it and make like marble, okay? So I was just playing around with different textures. Like, look at how cool this would look. I don't really like know what I'm doing this. I don't know if I love this, but like the final, you can see like the pigments underneath and the idea, which, which I did with my other ones, is resin it. And so you have like the sparkly smooth with the like really textured stuff. So the next step that I did was I took, into my try arts lately so try arts is a canadian company um so i used liquid mirror which is very expensive do not yell at me you don't have to get it if you don't want it thank you like it's kind of see-through like i guess silver would be fine if, if you want it it's not like the most magical but i kind of like it and i used um iridescent deep gold and i used rose gold so what i did was by the way, the pieces that I'm working on are the ones that I did my, for my consistency video, which were like, okay, but I didn't really love them. So another, this is another next piece. So you can, my idea, if you can see the light, was to kind of ombre them. So I did, I don't like this one, don't worry, but I did gold, the rose gold, and then the mirror on top. In this one, I did make too thick, but I kind of, I don't know if you can see, I kind of like the idea and maybe I'll do this next time, is making it this thick and then flooding the bloom part and leaving this kind of exposed. But with the final piece that I did, I actually um, resined on top of everything. Now, obviously, because this is textured, the, my final product isn't gonna be a flat resin because there's things poking up, but that's kind of like what I like. So imagine again, like my idea of this pretty stuff poking through over here. What else do I want to tell you? Yeah, so, oh, and you can see the difference. Uh, I don't know if this lighting is like intense. So this is thin. This I just clapped on way too thick. 
So you can see there's like cracks, which I filled in with the paint. So again, it just depends. Oh, you maybe you can see this angle, how this is much taller. I just thought it'd be cool to make like a river, you know, where you can put like the um, resin in here. So those are the few little tips that I learned. Like I said, you could probably do this with plaster or whatever, but how cool is it like covering your pieces with marble? So let's get to the final product. I've sped everything up because obviously it's very boring. So you just see me plastering, you see me painting, and then you see the final product. Let me know, is this something I'm probably gonna keep playing with and kind of get better at, but let me know um, if you like the final result, if I should keep marbling my shit. You know what I mean? Sorry for the swear. Have a good day. Bye.